So let's have a peep. So it seems like we've got some clear winners here with these two. But this one, we've got a draw at the moment with this first pile. It seems Pete, it's the, the, the painting one. Zex's is submission, Fruits of Wrath and the Round Bottom Boy is a drawing. So we still, we still have to wait and see. So feel free to vote everybody if you haven't already. I'll probably make a command actually. What is the plan for today, Neffel asks. Um, we're going to do some dialogue today. We, we'll have a little break from the boss and the battle story stuff for now. Um, and do some dialogue. This is something that we should have done a long time ago. And I want to do a story so far YouTube video. And I need this piece of dialogue in there really. Because it's, it's, it's Carol the Barrel. So we'll do a bit of dialogue stuff today and we'll revisit the boss stuff and the barrel assets etc next week because um, we still need to finish this poll. We need to get these these polls finished first. So, But I'm, I'm pretty sure we know some that have won here but we don't know. Could change drastically today's stream if we get a few extra votes. Hi David, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a wonderful day. So it's the last stream of the week, guys. Uh, and thank you very much as well for the ideas thingy. I had a skim read of that and it sounds really interesting and I want to take the time to compose a, re a, good re a good reply, a good thorough um, reply. So I'll be doing probably that tonight for you, Zexy. And Fox, so appreciate you getting involved and giving your input with that that idea because it'll I think it's pretty cool. Things are tying together now. Okay, so I'm gonna make a command everyone so people can get to this whole page easier. Um, So what should we call this kind? I'm gonna do a big massive sneeze. Feels like it's gonna gonna come out any second. And it's not. <laughs> I'm prepared to mute if it does. I am doing fabulous David. Um hmm, we've got so many poles that I don't even know how to word this. Um, probably we have some holes on our, on our fruit, on the fruits box, on our first box maybe, click here to vote, probably that. Thank you for that follow by the way, I appreciate it. I can't even think of what to call this command. Milky cold, oh my goodness me, coming in like that with a raid this early in my stream. I've only just started, thank you so much. Milky, silent reader, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thanks for thinking of me and choosing to bring your community over here. Let's see what Milky is doing today. Let's give Milky a shout out. Guys, make sure you introduce yourself to Milky. We we uh, gave him a ride last week ourselves, didn't we? He was playing some Celeste. He has a very good taste in video games. Um, I see him playing Dark Souls, Final Fantasy, and all the good stuff, really. Hello, Rose. Hi, Anubis. How are you doing today? It's good to meet you. Moogle. Yeah, Moogle's the cutest. Do we have enough? 
files. Yeah, that should be that should be exact. So I might just put up a command saying polls to please vote. <laughs> just something simple like that. But guys, if you're new here, if you've not been here before those of you from Milky's community and what we've been doing here the last few months is we've been working on a special project um, I basically do this exclusively now on Twitch we we just nerd out and make a game together we go on polls and stuff for, for decisions where we can take the game and we work a lot on on anything really plot story uh, battles cutscenes um, what else do we do? Level design, mapping, characterization, bit of world building, lore, all, all the fun stuff, all the nerdy stuff. This is our Trello page, so you can be a character in the game when you get 500 rain drops in the stream, which is our currency. And these are all like our awesome character sheets that I do for the community when they get to be a character. And um, we've just been doing some polls the last stream or so on our, our first boss. This is our first boss. <laughs> These cute little fruits. And we've just been deciding things like what shall we call them. And um, we they, they will transform a bit like the Power Rangers. They're going to form into something else. So we even had a poll of what will they combine and transform into. And we had some really funny, quirky ideas from the community here. So we're leaving this poll open for the rest of the stream and uh, we'll see, we'll see what wins. I'm guessing Birmingham or Dudley. Well, I don't, I don't give my exact location or city out because um, stalkers. <laughs> I usually just say I'm from the West Midlands because that is where I'm from. Um, but I don't, I don't say any more info than that. Streamers have to keep their privacy. <laughs> so, uh. Maybe you're right, maybe you're wrong. It'll always be a mystery. Neato. Dang it, missed the raid again. Hi, RYB fan. Welcome to the stream. It's good to meet you. I recognise the accent. East Anglia here. Oh, do you? My, my accent's one that some people... Well, I'd say, I'd say it's one that people have quite liked, surprisingly. When I first started streaming, I wondered if it would be... Uh, if people would take to it but people actually love it so i'm, I'm very flattered <laughs> i'm very flattered okay um first i miss Mil milky beating q leg now i missed his red oh no worries i forgive you i forgive you better late than never right better late than never and welcome to the stream anyone everyone i appreciate you being here um i'm gonna make a command just for our palms so people can get to them easier for those of you that aren't in the discord because we always do our voting voting on the discord because it prevents cheating <laughs> thank you silent reader for that follow i appreciate it rose is actually in hamburg germany <laughs> this is all a ruse yeah i have a joke that i'm, I'm actually hungarian and my accent's fake and I've been tricking him all this whole time. But <laughs> I haven't made that joke for about a year, actually. But that's one I used to make. Okay. But we have some holes to open. Uh, right, I'm just going to keep it like that. Simple poll command. Usually I take more time to think of a good good way to word it, but I'm, like, I'm feeling lazy today. So we'll just... Uh, oh, we haven't even got it. We haven't even got it ticked. Power Rangers enemies. Sort of Power Rangers enemies, I guess. That's what people thought when they first saw them. And somebody came up with the mechanic to have them combine. And I think we all were kind of drawn to that. When they're defeated, they'll they'll have like a second wind. And um, there's one that's considerably popular from this list. One of them's got nine votes. The others have just got two. So uh, it looks like that one's going to be the winner. But I am going to give you some more people a chance to get some votes in. Um, 
but we do this pile's a lot close so we've got some we've got some joint joint uh, winners here for the moment three three with six volts top in the pile captain planet i remember captain planet so i never watched power rangers but i watched captain planet i absolutely was obsessed with it but i don't remember anything about it other than they had powers like elemental powers no one wanted to save the 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 world it's the only thing i remember second wind and bigger body yeah that was kind of the gist of it and we do have a big, massive, giant, enormous, full-bodied fruit slime as one of the options. But people have took to the painting. People have took to paint because that's what they are, they're painters. And uh, I think people are drawn to the painting one because it's a bit more connected to the law. It fits a little bit more for, what, for what's going on in the story with them. And uh, so that'll be fun. We'll, we'll, we'll definitely, because um, we're having a break from, from this for a bit. I want to kind of see what the poll results end up being. And we're going to revisit the boss next week. And we'll work on the mechanics because we we got a, we got like a, a big thingy here that where we write and brainstorm. But I'm going to cross that off for now. But thanks everyone for taking part and we'll... Go back to that next week and we'll just chill and do some dialogue today, I think, because we we haven't we have a few bits of dialogue that we've been neglecting. And it's a good time to revisit it. And what I usually do, I do these flow diagrams. They're very easy to it's very easy to do this because we have a lot of branching dialogue paths. This is sort of an example of what we've done before. Um, so what I usually do is when we've done them, I pop them in our Dialogue Discussion Discord channel and I let the community suggest like edits. Because I'm, I'm a little bit wooden, I think, with the my first draft dialogue and um, some people like Alita have been incredibly helpful and gave some really good um, suggestions but I believe Elite's an editor so we're lucky to have an editor in the community. Hey Master Emerald how are you doing today? It's good to see you. Neville says tomato the best. Oh my goodness Neville somebody likes a tomato. Tomato was getting bullied yesterday. He weren't getting the love and it made me just want to love him more. <laughs> Bless him. He's the edgy one the tomato is. How are you doing, Master Emerald? I hope you're having a good day. Earth, fire, wind, water, heart. Yeah, that's it. That's the one. Which was your favourite power? You've got even got a heart emote. Oh, excessive profanity, I see. That's pretty pretty bad S emote. Ah, okay. So. I'm going to just write a rough list at the side of the dialogue scenes we need, just so we can keep track, because some of them we've already done. So the very first one is this one, this one that I've already done. It's the first thing that's basically ever said in the whole entire game, once you've created your custom hero. So. I'll just say Carol the Power Part 1 for now for that. Um, at the moment she's just called Barrel because she hasn't introduced herself, but she will. She will soon. Um, and then it's... Then it's a Nigel Buckington dialogue. He gives the first quest. Uh, 
so this one is done have we got a strike out thing to cross out or ones that we've done we have uh so the Fe uh, fiona buckington was the quest destination for she was the lost sister that we needed to find and we've already done her cutscene her diary, we, all, all of this is that and then it continues on with this scene um and all that is in rpg maker and it's all it's all an actual whole cutscene now um so that's all done and rose joins the party after that point and then what we have after that is probably carol the barrel um carol the barrel and rose which i'm just gonna put that for now for sure but what that basically is is the scene when carol the barrel realizes that she recognizes rose which is referred to here and then we get carol's flashback after that so i'm probably gonna put that as the next bit and then actually this will probably come in two parts There'll be one pre-flashback and one post-flashback. And the flashback is like the sandwich filling in between them. And then really the only one left after that will be the encounter with the fruits and that will be the first boss. I'm doing good just trying to wrap up the job application. Ooh, good luck, Master Emerald. I'm, I might have to do that one day myself, maybe next year. I want to at least, I want to kind of get to a good stage with the game though, before, um, before I start doing that. I'm at least release episode one, I'd say. Doing dialogues will take a lot of time, yeah. Raindrop Chronicles is going to be a friggin', you know, it's an RPG. It's going to have a lot of dialogue in it. Um, that's kind of something I want. I want it to have the dialogue and um, obviously uh, for those of you, it's the, a lot of it's going to be side quests and optional stuff, the bulk. So some people might who don't want to do the optional stuff won't see most of the dialogue probably. They don't only see the main quest dialogue. Um, so really all this is just main quest dialogue for now but when we start working on side quests we'll probably have to, have to do some extra dialogue trees for them too this is actually my personal favorite part of um, making a game probably other than world building and doing the plot um, I enjoy doing the level design stuff as well but my, my least favourite is always the skill implementation and the math stuff. That's always my my least favourite part. But I enjoy seeing the, the battle come together and actually seeing it work. So it's rewarding when it's actually done. I was going to wait till I had to, but then this one appeared and it's pretty much my dream job. Well, good for you. Good for you. That's the thing. Sometimes you it the perfect one can appear. And sometimes you're waiting for ages before the perfect one to appear. So I don't blame you, Meth Emerald. My dream job is sitting doing nothing. Well, yeah, everybody's different. I I have to do stuff. Like I have to work on creative stuff because my mind would rot if I didn't. Um, <laughs> I just live and breathe doing something creative. And I've never like really... There's never been anything I've uh, completed. I've always been the sort of person that started something but don't finish. But this is the actual time I will. So I'm very much committed to that. It's one of the, my goals of the, ne the next decade. This, this, this project. The, tw the 2020s decade. It's my ambition. Main quest is 20 minutes. Each side quest is an extra hour of content. Get your side quest now with the Torrential Downpour MP DLC. <laughs> 20 minutes, I'm telling you now. It's going to be a 
bloody lot longer than that. And I, this is why I like that we're doing an episode, because it would be frigging a big thing to think of as a whole game. Because potentially this is going to be a huge epic, but I like, I prefer thinking about it in small parts right now rather than as it as a whole. So, Everbloom Forest, that's the focus. We'll be liking my friends, too hard sitting up, have fun today, Kung. Well, I appreciate the lurk. Super appreciate you, Kung. Have a lovely lurk and a wonderful day. My main we're going to getting a little bit better now, at least. I'm glad about So, the eighth scene will be encounter. Um, fine, oh yeah, fine the easel and encounter fruits. So, um... If you're curious, the basically f scene five to eight is all covered here. Um, well, some of this will come after. Some of this, we, we'll have the battle and then we'll have... Uh, but to be honest, all this part here that has been written by Zexion, you know, I'm kind of just going to see that as all of the eighth point for now. Um... So, we've crossed Fiona Buckingham and one out because we've done that. That's all of this. Um, Nigel Buckington and Carol the Barrel Part 1 have been done. I mean, this, like, literally just this is Carol the Barrel Part 1. It's very short. Um, so, that's sort of done. But I kind of still want to put it up on the dialogue discussion. Because I want to see if any, what everybody thinks of that dialogue. Because we, we never actually got a chance to do a fly for it, for this bit. Because we didn't actually start to make the decision to use this Draw.io website until we were on this part. So all this before hasn't been done on here properly yet. Even though these two are an RPG maker at the moment, I still want to do them. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bold... I'm going to bold the one that's done and then mark it with a tick. Is there a tick emoji we can use? Um, I think our Trello has a tick emoji, so I'm going to copy and paste that. Ew, it's got a white background. Right. One secy sec. We find it on the Google. Oh, I know why it's got white background. It's because it's got a background colour. Oh, maybe not. Or maybe it has, but I just didn't highlight it. There we go. So. I'm just, this is just going to be, I'll probably delete this when we take, save this actual flow because it's a bit messy, but I'm going to keep it here for now just so we can keep on track with our dialogue um, parts and know exactly what we have to do. The All these bits here, um, especially the flashback onwards I'd say, we'll, we'll start doing once we've um, done all the barrel assets and stuff. But we definitely need to get these first four done. So really, Carol the Black Barrel Part 1 is done. Some of you, if you've been here when you've been watching our test players, would have seen this already. Um, but we haven't done Carol the Barrel Part 2 yet. I, kind of, I might actually do a flow of the Nigel Buckington dialogue as well, just because... In case people do have dialogue edit suggestions for that, I'm not all, I'm not against making that sound even better than it is. Although I think what we, we do have is okay. Um, I do want to probably do a fly for that still. Um, so, Carol the Barrel Part 2. So basically what Carol the Barrel Part 2 is going to consist of is Carol approaching the hero and joining the party and introducing herself. Because at this point, all she's done is be really mad at him and tell him to get lost, basically, because he was inside her. Um, 
but we need to have an actual conversation where she joins and uh, they have a bit of banter and then she's officially in the party and then the next time Carol pops out and talks it'll all be nice and you know make sense she won't just be randomly there because we've had this scene um, so we could I'm just gonna copy and paste these to use them as a template so I'm kind of using the blue boxes just as like a visual description of the scene so we know where we are um, probably put hero leaves like fold and gets stopped by the barrel. And we don't know where this scene will take place. I'm actually going to get RPG Maker up right now. And I'm going to just talk through the couple of areas I have in mind where this conversation can actually take place. So here's our, here's our Lakefall village. And the scene, Carol the Barrel Part 1, takes place here. And the inn is here, so this will be the scene with Nigel Buckington. Um, and so really, any part between crossing this bridge here, leaving Lakefall, and any time between here could work I'd say any point on the bridge could be the perfect place for the encounter to happen really because once you get to this point the Everbloom Forest opens up and uh, it would make more sense for Carol to stop the hero before he actually officially walks into the forest um, are you going to party on New Year? Uh, sort of my sister is um, going out with some of her friends, so we'll be going with her. Are you? Are you guys doing anything nice for New Year? Music volume too high, the same level of your talking. Well, um, I have the settings exactly on what I have them on every single stream. And uh, I, I, I'll, I'll admit I'm not wearing earphones today, so things could be slightly off. But I am 100% doing the exact same setting, so there shouldn't be a problem. And there's never been an issue ever before with my sound volumes in all my streams. So, but if, if more than one person says, then I will probably look into having a little look at the settings. But it's never been an issue before. I'd say it has to have it on the second map, on the bridge, sort of a framing shot for the new map. I like this map. Yeah, it's a pretty map, isn't it? Yeah, I agree. I'm, I'm thinking the same thing, Zexy. And the reason why... Hang, hang on a sec, I feel a bit distracted because of the sound comment. But I'm going to just check that my volume level on my mic is the same because I'm not... I'm not going to actually lie, Windows is a butt face and sometimes changes my sound volume of my Blue Yeti mic randomly. Because Windows is very silly like that. So it's not, it wouldn't be a surprise if it's done that, but I'm assuming everything's okay because nobody's complained. Only one person. Okay, so the mic levels have gone down, but like literally just by to 95 from 100. Oh my goodness, Windows, I despise you <laughs> sometimes. But really, it shouldn't have been really that noticeable from how it had been in other streams. I have my mic quite loud, in all honesty. And I have my music volume quite low. It shouldn't be too, it shouldn't be that bad. <laughs> Your music volume is fine, voice is coming through loud and clear. Yeah, 100% I have all the sounds as it is, so... Like I said, I'll only really edit things if it's something like that people are complaining about. Or more than one person. At least with the song it was coming through, I didn't notice anything. Maybe if some people are wearing earphones, it'll sound differently to them. But if I, if I put the music any quieter, um, you won't hear it, basically. And if I put my mic volume any louder, I will be peaking. So I feel like this, how I have it currently is about right. 
but the mix is perfect at the moment. Okay, I trust you. I'm definitely going to trust my lovely regulars like you, Rex, and Nathal over over a new person no offense Hallid, ha Hallid but it's the first time you've ever come in the stream and I am very I am a skeptical person I mean I'm very nice I'm very welcoming to new people but I still have a bit of skeptic in me what's up hi Storm Eagle how are you doing today it's good to see you hope you're having a good day but yeah it's been said that um, Zexy said that the conversation with Carol the Barrel should happen on this bridge, and I agree. And I'd say the reason most of all why I would prefer to do it there is because it could look very awkward um, having Carol just hop down here randomly in the middle of the town where NPCs are. Um, so maybe it will just make more sense because we do have to kind of do a sort of animation with Carol the Barrel's walk. It's it's something that has to be done because there will there will be scenes where Carol has to move with the party, and at the moment we don't have a walking animation for her. And it, I think it was suggested by someone yesterday that she should like hop. That could be something good because I don't I don't think we should give her legs. I think she's cute as a barrel. It would be a bit weird if she had legs. So, <laughs> so we'll keep the barrel with and she can probably hop. That that that's uh that could that could work. So maybe any point on this bridge, Carol will literally pop out and hop down. And then the, the dialogue sequence will begin and then it'll end. And the hero can carry on through the Everbloom Forest. Feel free to let me know what you think guys but we can we can um so i've put leaves like fall and get stopped by the barrel yep and now we can get some of that dialogue written so i'm going to just keep one letter because if i get rid of the letter it'll mess up my text so uh, <laughs> right so i've got some notes on what what's going to be said in this cutscene and it was actually Rex and Silent and Lost that had some really, really funny ideas for this cutscene many, many weeks ago. It was quite a while ago when, when this was suggested, but I kept a note of what they said because I thought it would be fun. But um, I'll, I'll give you guys a rundown on what it's going to be about in a sec. Hi, put, hi Battle Sandwich other account, how are you doing today? new person in here here too you are not new you cannot trick me well sandwich <laughs> peeking what's next cosplaying as boo from mario <laughs> right okay so basically um the hero was inside carol we all know that he was a stowaway inside of Carol and they were probably on some cart and now they've ended up in like four together. Um, why the hero was on the cart inside Carol, we don't know. That is a mystery right now. The hero pro probably has their own backstory that we ha we haven't shaped it yet. It's still, it still remains a mystery, but they were in inside Carol. Um, maybe one day it'll all get fleshed out and we'll find out about the hero's past. Who knows? Um, but yeah, so she was clearly embarrassed. So now, basically we had to come up with a good reason she joins us. Because why on earth would someone who seems to despise us join us? That's the big question. And Silent and Lost came up with something really, really kind of sweet and quite fitting with carol's personality like all the way back in i forgot what month it was now it was sometime in the summer though um before we did before we even finished the everbloom forest mapping um it was a while ago um also like santa yeah i want some christmas emotes so basically what happens is i'm gonna just look at my notes and remind myself Carol says that the hero can't leave without her 
and says that because Vera was the first person inside her, he has to marry her now. And obviously, the hero's a little bit. And then Carol's like, you do know about the traditions of barrels, don't you, stranger? And then she says, don't worry, we'll get lots of chances to explain the ways of my people. And then she's like, she basically says that she can off, she can be his inventory and you can put all the items you find inside of me. And then she says, you won't get jealous of them, will you? There's, she's like, she's a weird one. She's weird because she's kind of trying to flirt, but she's doing a bad job. Um, <laughs> she's weird and uh, so yeah there's this like weird thing attachment Carol's got to the hero now because she to put it bluntly she lost her virginity to the hero <laughs> so according to barrel tradition they've got to get married he was in her and he has to marry her now yeah she, Carol's very naive to love she's just so clueless She's like a full-on, a full-on virgin. She, she doesn't know what, 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 how to show affection in the slightest. And I think she, she struggles with showing affection and she, she uses her aggression to like cover up her feelings in a way. And if you don't know, Carol is a romance option in the game so there's this kind of weird flirty nature carol has with the hero and she will become a romance option but whether you know you it's optional if there's another character in the game you'd prefer to romance then that can happen um carol though might get jealous who knows who knows that's so funny, I love it also. Zexy, yay. Wait, Carol is the inventory? Oh my god, yes, that is what she is. I probably haven't made that, I wish I made that clearer in the past actually, but when we designed Carol the Barrel, when she was actually created as a character, um, somebody suggested that she should actually be the inventory. Like That is her purpose for being our sidekick in a way. And she's offered herself to us. She's like, says, I'll be your inventory. You can put all your things inside me, sort of thing. And it's very fitting and it's very cute. <laughs> in a really, in a really cute, in a cute way. Um, so, yeah, that's, that. I feel that that was perfect. We actually did do a poll for it ages ago. Um, and people agreed that it should, she should be the inventory. <laughs> so, it all gives a reason for Carol being there. She, she believes that she's now married to the hero and she's doing him a favour by being the infantry. Um, so, there's a purpose. She's not just hanging along for no reason. There's a, there's a reason she's with us now. She's got this attachment to us and she's going to constantly follow us and be our infantry. So, now we're going to just really... We've got to just really put this scene together now. Make it make it work well as a scene so we've talked about what the scene is about like what's going to be said briefly but we've got to actually put the conversation in place because um one thing about our game is that our hero doesn't speak the only dialogue that the hero says is all dialogue options when we get choices so as you can see for example on this flow chart the only time the hero talks is when there's a choice um, and any time there's a question other than that it'll just be the NPCs talking and the hero listens it's very much in the style of games like I guess the Bethesda games and probably other games as well out there that are similar to that where you've got this mute protagonist but they only talk when there's like choices um, right so so really, it's going to just be Carol rambling to herself as if the hero is listening and talking to her. But uh, but if the opportunity arises, there can be a dialogue option, but I'm not sure this scene will have one. It might just be Carol talking. It's all whether anything's appropriate to have as a dialogue option. And every time there is a dialogue option that you usually will affect your compassion bravery or wisdom in some way and that will be how you're shaped as a person 
she's being his loyal barrel wife she is so um i'm gonna just put up a, a bunch of boxes together of what carol can say and obviously feedback from you guys as, as we do it I, it will be cool and when it's all done i'll pop, be popping it in the dialogue discussion channel anyway and anything that anyone has to say can can be can be said in there as well and i'm going to remind you guys again we've got some polls that we need votes on and i'm going to give you the command poll command and it'll lead you to this discord channel it's this particular poll our first one that needs the votes because we've got six joint top at the moment i mean three that are joint top at six votes um so we currently don't know who's gonna win that one yet we need more votes but we we pretty much you know it seems like there's definitely a clear winner with these two and hi glycian i'm back man i hate twitch mobile i'm on pc now yay twitch mobile can be silly i've had to use it sometimes when i've turned my computer off <laughs> so that's why i'm a fantastic lizard cool tell me more about lizards other is, is you romance option yeah <laughs> maybe there will be a romance for lizard in the game or reptile or dragon whatever we want to call them i guess the kind of reptiles that's really the proper name but they could be considered dragons or lizards i guess um right so back to our flow diagram they're not questions or plot options or whatnot, but I don't know. Does that make sense? I feel like I'm asking that very poorly. I'm a bit confused about sewage, but I'm sure I'm sure you what you're saying does make sense in a way. I'm just a slow one sometimes. So maybe <laughs> maybe maybe it's just me. Dialogue for the player that's just directing a conversation rather than saying actual things or asking. Yeah. Yeah, like the, the hero will never just outright just say a random line like an NPC would. Anything that comes out of a hero's mouth is all when there's a choice. Because it's so important the player has the freedom to shape the hero. As, so, it, as soon as the hero just says something off their own back, it's like we give taking away that choice from the player. So if that makes any sense at all. And I think we kind of... Like when we started the game, a lot of people liked the idea of that the hero being in that sort of style of a protagonist, simply because it's a very choice-based game, and choice-based games tend to have that protagonist more often. Um, whereas games like Final Fantasy have the protagonist like Cloud and uh, you know Zidane, and that and they they talk like a normal NPC does, but you don't really get the freedom of choice in those games either so it makes sense that they're like that i think you're asking if we can also have law prompts okay does make sense rose thank you uh yeah well i'm intrigued to know more so law prompts I, I, i'm kind of curious because I, I i'm i kind of want to know what that is because it sounds really interesting but i'm not grasping it yet because i'm a silly bit <laughs> okay so back to actually in the dialogue right so she the, the carol the barrel has to say something to get the hero's attention so Um, we were, there was another thing we considered with Carol, like nicknames or sort of slang curse words that she would give to humans, because she's a barrel, and she it'll be quite be quite awesome if she had her own like little word. And one was flashbag, I think. There's a massive list of like little words that she could give, and I need to find that. But the flashbag one was the one that stood out to me. Um, I'd be totally interested to know if you guys had any more ideas, um, but that can go there for now because that that's the only one that was like a really cool one. Um, you can sometimes choose dialogue options in FF7-8, like setting yourself up, go to Golden Saucer Day. Yes, there is. I mean, it's not 
I wouldn't say it's a huge mechanic, the choices in Vine Vance again, but it can happen now and again for sure. I from what I remember, you could choose Barrett as a date in that. Well, you could get Barrett as a date. But I always got a, um, Aeris or Tifa <laughs> all the time. Um, I think you covered most of what I was saying, even indirectly, whereas law prompts in particular fit in pretty sneakily with the setup you're making, I think. Yeah, it, do, do you mean like something like the here? Because I, I'm going to make use of questions quite often. Like once the conversation's ended with an NPC or something, now and again there might be the option to to like find out stuff and ask questions and that's a good opportunity to find out more so it will either be that style of dialogue for the hero or when they get the choice um right flashback meat sacks another good one so uh i'm gonna make note We need we need to consistently stick to the whole Sunday a sassy kind of dialogue with her because she's very much like that in this first sequence. She's very aggressive, very annoyed, very violent. Um, so we want to we want to kind of keep that up. We want to still keep that kind of tone with Carol the Barrel. She can't. She can slowly warm up and get more affectionate over the course of the game but she can't show that too early on so what he's asking is some dialogue options that exist only to give backstory or world lore a lizard says and so that's why i'm a fantastic lizard and then the player has three prompts ends convo gives more info about that npc gives more lore about the lizard folk okay I think I kind of get it. So when we when we kind of do do that stuff, we can definitely because I want feedback from you guys about dialogue suggestions anyway. So we can always um, do, like actually do a proper flow of how something like that could look. So I'm not sure whether we'll get the opportunity to do that with this particular conversation, but there's going to be a lot with especially with the side quests. Like when we get to the lake fall, there'll be there'll be a lot of law surrounding lake fall and an opportunity to find out stuff. I got your your thing my first time, which worked well. Thirteen year old me had a crush on her. Can help flavor dialogue when the times come. Yeah, elites the editor, and uh, it, we we lucky to have um, people that are super good at editing dialogue here because. Uh, you know, it's, it's it's always difficult, isn't it? It can be a difficult thing, especially first draft, to make something sound really good and not wooden. And then you were really helpful with the Fiona Bookington scenes, um, Elite. Hi, classy bathrobe. I like your name. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Empty headed might make sense for a barrel. Ooh. I'm gonna write down all these notes. The puns love them. <laughs> pressure is on now. Well, ne there's never pressure. Never feel you have to help out all the time or anything like that. You don't even have to ever again if you don't want to, but. You know, I'm just grateful for what you've done so far for the for the bits. But there's never any pressure. You love dressing gowns. The only classes to bath rows in Raindrop Chronicles. <laughs> love taking my gowns out shopping. I actually need um, a dressing gown, a new one. A nice winter one. So I might buy one when I go shopping tomorrow. But anything like super complicated, I'll mention again, like... Um, suggestions for game feel free to pop it in the ideas uh, discussion channel on the discord because you you guys know me by now I'm terrible at taking in uh, too much complicated info during stream that's kind of one of my one of my weaknesses but I'm I can pretty much go uh, grasp it once I'm off stream and when I can focus properly 
You hear that warm dressing gown for Rose? Rex doesn't have to get me. Prob I'm, I'm probably going to just get one from the shop. It's fine. I feel bad. I probably shouldn't, but I'm one of these people that feel guilty when people buy me things. Because I, I, I had a really bad experience once with somebody. Um, like, somebody's mum really hated me because my boyfriend at the time would buy me loads of stuff like he bought me an xbox 360 and a, a tv he like went crazy and she like was always on at me she was like you're a, she's a gold digger and stuff and i just felt so bad because i never asked for any of it and it's like kind of given me this trauma now and i just don't want anyone buying me anything it's, terrible. it's bad because it shouldn't be that way I'm his ex myself. <laughs> One of those SOs express affection through buying new things. Yeah, I never, because I'm not, I'm very simple. I'm a simple person and I don't really like ask for a lot, but it, that person bought me stuff anyway, even though I didn't. Um, so, yeah, and unfortunately I got the blame for it as well. But Colt called gold digger and I'm like the opposite of a gold digger. I'm like the least gold digger person in the entire world. <laughs> Sorry you had to deal with that. If anyone gives you free stuff, feel free to give it to chat. That's such a strange situation. One of the love of languages. Yeah, it is a love language for, for some. I'm not like, I wouldn't say it's not my love language, but I'd say there's maybe... I just feel guilty because of my past. It probably could have been a love language of mine if it wasn't for the guilt that was put on me for accepting gifts. So, it's just silly. <laughs> feel free to hook me up with that because he can buy me some coffee related products and I'll be a happy, yeah. <laughs> Maybe I should sexy. He was trying to get in contact with me recently and I was like, oh God, no, no. <laughs> You know, when you when you get the message from the ex and you're like, oh, crap, no. <laughs> but, yeah, if that happens again, I'll be like, sexy. You message sexy. <laughs> that would be, that would be the way out. Yeah, things, but no, that's not well entirely necessary or also the only thing you should be doing person depending. Yeah. But, I mean, I loved my Xbox 360. Don't get me wrong, I put good use to it. I absolutely adored it. <laughs> Co coffee products, all the battle sandwich. Do art for RPG Maker Games and be reliable. You'll make a fortune. <laughs> Got one of those messages recently. Was feels, did you? You should wait until one of us needs a new PC parts to text him back. <laughs> I think he's probably very different now, though. I think... Uh, because from what I, I think, the person that he started dating after me, he did the same things too. Like they, he'd buy like her loads of stuff as well, and that ended really terribly. And I think it changed him as a person, and it made him like stop doing that. I don't know. <laughs> so you might not get, you might, you might not uh, get much luck, guys, out of him. Free fights if you buy coffee products, maybe find me a job. <laughs> okay, so dialogue. Right. Right, so the next thing I'm thinking she could say is something like she she will she, she could just say I can't let you leave without me, but she could also explain herself and apologize for being rude earlier but maybe that wouldn't be very carol the barrel like to do that because um she's not the sort that would give in and say sorry what do you how do you guys think imagine her but something she would definitely say is i can't let you leave them and actually i'm wondering how to design this because oops type us um because she's kind of talking to herself and the hero's not responding, I'm wondering if I should bother starting a new box or whether I should just have them all in the same box. Because um, that's what I've kind of done here. I was going to make a separate box for every single one, but it could like be very time consuming to do it like that. Um, 
So I will, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Chat distracts Rose, yeah, you distracted me. I guess I can roll with you. LOL, Glaucian the puns. <laughs> Make, make it based off character's compassion, lol. Instead of, I can't let you leave me out me, it should be her explaining why it's in her best interest to go. Very matter of fact, yeah. So, maybe we should just get straight to the point and she says you have to marry me because you were inside me. Maybe Carol, that is Carol's way of getting straight to the point. And uh, as, as for character's compassion at this point in the game, they won't have any compassion. <laughs> you, the, the game has just begun and uh, there's, they will probably have zero on the compassion scale. Um, so I'm going to just probably just put in this box some ideas for the dialogue for this particular part. Um, so you're the first person to be inside me. So we have to get married now. Like that is literally as blunt and matter of fact as you can get, right? What are your thoughts, guys? So at this point, she'd say, wait up. There'd be a little carol or do a little hopping animation. And uh, the hero will turn around and face her. And then she'll say this. Damn, when Draw.io does that weird thing with the arrows, I think it's because of the positioning. There we go, I like it straight. So if they are good, she may feel the need to say sorry, otherwise she will think there's no need to say sorry because the players are dick anyway. He's just a blank slate right now, but it'll be super interesting when he does start to develop his personality because Carol may react differently to him, you know. The dialogue lines Carol might say to him when he's started to develop his personality will start to differ but at this point i suppose it's a bit generic because he's a blank the the, the, the hero is just a blank slate without any personality at this point um right let's see what chat is suggesting how about fine leave but i'm going with you also i have no idea what the story is so feel free to ignore me well classy bathrobe um, I'm go and what I'm planning to do is a story so far series. It'll be like very, very short videos, like two minutes long. And they'll probably only come out every every few several weeks or so, every time there's a new update to the story. And it'll literally just like summarise what's happened in the story so far. And it'll probably be a really an effective way for new people to get to get a uh, an idea of what's going on here because otherwise it's it's people who are new won't have a clue well they and i want to make sure that we 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 get to include new people with this as well so i'm looking forward to doing that anyway i don't think it's going to be too much of a time commitment for me to do that considering the videos will only come out once in a while and i think it could pay off massively i'm hoping so anyway and uh it won't alienate people from getting involved in the game, especially as we get further through. Um, right. If she's awkward, she could hide the need for marriage, and that could be the first purpose build follower NPC dialogue between her and the player. She could make an excuse for now that's intentionally flimsy. Oh, okay, so Battle Sandwich, you're basically saying that she doesn't get straight to the point. You're saying she should be a bit not so blunt right now is that what you're getting to there i meant bringing up that she's looking for a son or some such unless that entire reveal is big yes sexy that reveal will happen complete when rose joins the party because rose basically rose i'm going to just summarize that this event where carol loses her family companions um rose is the only person who was there and knows what happened to her family carol sees her in the distance and um, he's aware that Rose saw what happened, but she doesn't get chance to 
to catch up with Rose and have a conversation with her, she escapes. But now, when she finds Rose again with the hero, it'll trigger this for Carol and she'll be reminded and that'll be the perfect time to bring it up because there's a reason to bring it up then. So um, that'll, that'll all happen at this point. Um, Carol, the Barrel and Rose pre-flashback number five. That'll be the exact point Carol mentions. Um, that just just before the flashback and then the flashback will happen and we'll get actually get to see exactly what went down um but yeah carol the barrel part two really we just want to all all the aim is here is to get her to join the hero and have a reason for doing it and it not be completely random and out the blue and the whole marriage thing you was inside me so you have to marry me now that gives a purpose for why she's a with us and then she'll say that she can be our inventory so otherwise without this it's like well why is carol here why is she even with us but she was so horrible to us earlier so why would she just come with us but i do feel like the good thing about the marriage thing not only is it funny and so really at random and out the blue it gives purpose to why she's with us because she's got this attachment to us now because it was inside her and and stuff bless her um so let's uh, catch up with chat obs is being a, a silly and not letting me scroll back but i think i've i've scrolled back enough um i just get a feeling cutting to the chase on the marriage thing could be spoiling the shop value that'd be better used in something more well played well just so you know this isn't serious this is just a joke the hero isn't really getting married to carol just so you don't know we like it's not some super twist or plot point or anything. Um, like the hero's going to just be like, what? They might even have like a, a thought bubble pop up in the head or something. I'm not even, I'm not sure if we'll be making use of pop up or thought bubbles yet. I haven't decided that yet. But if we wanted to go in that sort of visual direction with reactions from a hero, we could do something like that. And they'd like show like shock or disgust or confusion or whatever or something at that point in the conversation but i'm intrigued to know what you guys think we could eat if there's a contradiction of ideas here or opinions we could always put up a poll for something like this so we can clear clear things up and we can see what overall people think is the best thing to do but i'm going to catch up with chat first um it's okay lots of people struggle with straight things <laughs> if you hold shift while drawing the arrow does that keep it straight it might do i'll try that one next time um like she asks you to come see her at the town church next time you're in town that has one and you get there and everything's up for marriage and you have to talk your way out of it well that could still happen we could always have a church in the future where a sequence like that takes place um but I think, it, you know, it's not serious, you know, and it, there's no, like, real shock. I don't think there's a shock value here. It's all just very light-hearted and, uh, like, but anyway, I don't know. I, I'm still intrigued to see people's thoughts. You'd never be ignored even when intentional chat spam doesn't get ignored somehow. You're much more concise. Yeah, we'd never we'd never ignore your classy bathrobe, and like I say... Um, I will. De I definitely think a story so far YouTube series will be 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 pretty cool for the new peeps. Um, I wish I was more concise, then I could drive a smaller car. I'm saying, in my opinion, she should make up a dumb each reason for following the player now, but then reveal why by calling the player into an active marriage ceremony. It could be for. I agree. I, I I think that's an interesting one too. Um, I'd love to know what sort of dumb reasons she could have. If you guys have any ideas for what those dumb excuses for a being could be, then I, I'll t totally take those into consideration. I think um, it's got it's got to be as, as long as it's funny and it fits well and it's a and it's believable. I suppose it could work. Um, I can technically pick the winner of the first poll, at least who's in the lead. I voted for the top two so I can take a vote away. Oh, Glacian's got all the control now, I see. Shall we see what's winning? Oh my goodness, the Fruits of Wrath is winning at the moment. It's very close, though. 
um, it, it does, those three seem to be very, very popular choices. And I think they're all very good in their own way. But we'll we'll leave the polls open a bit longer because I want to see if any more votes come in. But we'll see, we'll see what wins it. Give the player the options of what the, or oh wow, I'm honest, is the second. The carol can be like, um, I'm start back tracking. See, that's that's a consideration too. We can actually have a choice. Um, you know, if if it's a if it's fits and it'll work, then we can have a player choice. I mean, I see this game having choices in most dialogue conversations at some point, so we could always do that, Fox. Um, right, so. I'm in the same boat, but remember Rose hasn't voted. Yeah, yeah, I haven't voted. Because I don't actually know with this one. I, th I think they're all so good. I like them all. They're all so creative. And I know they don't need to get married. You're good. But it'd be super funny to make it come up so directly and the player have, a t have to talk their way out of it. 100% okay if you don't want to go with this, Joe. I did a stuggy display. It's simple terms. No battle sandwich. I, I think it's a, a pretty, pretty good idea. I mean, we can totally go that way. I'm just... I think the only... I would only 100% go with it if we know what could replace it dialogue-wise this particular life we can think of something equally as funny or amusing that could work as a good excuse for why for why she's uh gonna be with us then we can we can go for that and we'll see what chat think as well what do you think about this approach guys i'm gonna catch up because you probably or might have already said but i haven't caught yet sorry rex but you like the fruits of wrath more i feel fruits of wrath fits more because it gets straight to the point with what they are their fruits the round bottom boys it's like it doesn't automatically tell us they are fruits it fruits even though i absolutely think the name is hilarious <laughs> um okay i'm gonna go with b based solely on the fact that googling decay it didn't immediately reference the fruit bowl so i didn't instantly click oh that's the joke i get it I also say if you do a coin flip the first time their name pops up and have them named one or the other just randomly. Oh, co coin flip, what do you mean by that? Sorry, I'm <laughs> wondering what that's, what the context is of that. Um, Oi, you voided my extended warranty. You're not going anywhere without me. You'd be you're responsible for covering any damages I suffer now. Or, or some such. That could work exactly as well. <laughs> yeah, that could work. So what's everyone thinking, chat? Should we, should we leave the marriage thing for now and have that as a potential thing that's brought up later? Um, and then and have something like Zexy's suggested as the dialogue uh, at this point. Um, what if he says, well, you aren't the first person inside me, so I'll only marry half of you and since i like your bottom half more i'll need you and the rest of the torso to give us some time <laughs> to talk it over yeah if we go with the the um i mean we've got a few suggestions here guys so i'm not gonna totally rule out having a poll but i've got to take it all in because we, we're getting a lot of info here we've got to figure out the best way to 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 get this conversation done Gotta go figure it out. Leave the marriage thing. Her grandmother would kill her if she fell down. <laughs> yeah, she would. She would. Coin flip just mean a 50 50 chance for them to be named one or the other set of variable, I guess. Um, name what? Sorry, I'm drawing a blank <laughs> of that old sandwich. Um, round bottom boys could be case of misled the player when I hear it at first, then you reveal what of weight their fruit. Yeah, we could always use the round barn boys as a joke, maybe like a joke reference, but their real name is the other one. Who knows? We'll see. We could always do that. Plus the little cookie jar needs another good parent. Yeah, cookie jar. I'm looking forward to getting that cookie jar fleshed out more as well. We'll go back to revisit that again next week. Wait up, flashback. You think you can just come inside a barrel and bugger off without a word? 
Oh my god, that actually sounds extremely late. Player might confuse first. No, I'm coming with you until we get into town and we can settle this grumpy Carol. <laughs> Carol's always grumpy for sure. Gotta think from Carol's perspective, finally she has a chance to make her uptight grandmother proud, not end up chasing the bad boy like Meryl, have a good partner to raise the cookie with. Yeah, and one thing I'm going to say as well is this this particular uh, thing about Carol saying that she'll marry the hero was actually decided before we fleshed out her companions and stuff so it's probably true that this is a bit out of character now but at the same time I think it's something we could explore as Carol develops an attachment to the hero um, I think it I think because of her naivety and and stuff it could be something but we'll say we'll say it could it could even just be something that happens when with a with the romance mo, romance option but um what should we do guys should we do a poll where we pick from the dialogue choices here because we've got a few suggestions here we have one from De zexy battle sandwich and did we have one from i mean classy bathrobe gave one as well but that would probably fit more if we went with the marriage thing but uh cookie there's a baby barrel there is battle sandwich we are having a cookie jar baby but it, it was going to be a baby barrel but it's going to be a cookie jar now so <laughs> it's like they're all containers of some sort we've got barrels boxes and cookie jar in the, in the gang carol has an adopted son adorable yay he's a cookie jar though so everyone is protected of him so he doesn't break <laughs> i'm looking forward to like getting these assets done for him as well i mean i was in, i was even imagining them being on merc and stuff and having like carol the barrel merc how crazy would that be okay oh god, god i know i read that ball sandwich and i was like oh my goodness this is no longer a pg-13 game um <laughs> right so what i'm gonna do is uh i'm gonna probably get let's just copy and paste this i'm gonna copy and paste what you both said guys um and just pop them above here and then we can make maybe make a decision about which one we go for we've only got sexy and battle sandwiches for now so i'm not sure if that's worth putting a poll up for um But I might change the, the one particular word to you, so it, it doesn't sound loud. Um, I'm going to just copy and paste the whole thing you've said, actually. Hey, behave yourself. Text box. Um, and Zexy had one as well. It's, it's silly how it does this black background. Let's remove that. And we'll make the text a bit bigger too. So I'm just going to put it above here. Because um, we, we've had those suggestions and I guess... I guess it's just thinking what we should, what, what we should go with and if we're going to pick one of them, how we should edit them. If we will edit them. Um, you think you can just bug off without a word? You're inside of me. <laughs> I'm sorry what's happening or whatever else. Nothing, Carol. No, I'm not letting you off that easy. I'm coming with you until we make it into town where we can settle this. Yeah. Um, and are we going to have a... Are we going to have a choice thing with the player? Is the player going to respond at this point or should we just carry on with Carol talking and rambling on? Because it was mentioned that we could have something said, a choice option. Uh, Fox mentioned. I, thought I actually missed what the choices were, though I'll have to scroll back. Um, and then we can like start to give compassion points or whatever to the hero from that point on but we might it might not be necessary i guess it's whether there's something suitable to say really yours was just a joke because i actually liked it though 
um but we could just like be sim battle sandwich is probably this most simple one like just literally saying you think you can bugger off without a word you're inside i mean that's pretty that's pretty good it gets straight to the point refers to their very first scene um so it's probably a bit less lewd as well <laughs> so. And I guess the question is, are we going to use the term bugger off for cat? I think it'll be cool to consider like what sort of language she does use and consistently stick with that. So if, if we do decide bugger off is something she says, we could like, that could be something she says often. It could be a little, it'll give her a bit of identity then. Um... So there we go. Maybe jump inside. Jump inside. Where what are we referring to with that bit? The same basic thing, but with her the oh with that bit, yeah. Um bah. <laughs> yeah, Zex's was very funny. I think that's quite amusing. Um jump inside. I would lose my <laughs> Probably just whatever reads better, I guess. I just left a spot spot for a possible player dialogue, but in case anyone wanted it, could throw in a one plus compassion or one plus asshole if you want. See, that's what I'm considering at this point, whether we should give that one plus compassion or one minus compassion. And uh, But only if there's a, relevant, a, re a, a good dialogue thing to say. We won't add dialogue choices for the sake of it, only if it really does make the dialogue even better or conversation um how about roll out you think you can hang on i'm, I'm, I'm wondering where that would be placed um extended one to do i'd lose it too i've had some funny stuff in real life but that would kill me guys you seem to like the extended warranty thing does this mean you think we should add it Please remove yourself from my presence, you street rat there. <laughs> Where would that go? Right, I'm, I'm lost, guys. There's so many good things suggested and we need to sell what we're going to have. Because at the moment, we're sticking with the simple one, which is which is what we've, I've just added in this dialogue box. I won't rule out doing a poll. Like, this is the point of polls. If we end up getting a lot of really cool ideas then we can always do a poll. Um, instead of bug graph, I mean, could do a roll out because the barrels roll. Oh, right, you meant with the bug. Yeah, so you think you can... So what do you guys think? Is that... Is that uh... But that does... It does fit with the roll, roll out, not roll off. It does fit with... Uh, it's a bit of a pun, I guess. <laughs> um... Yeah, some don't worry, at least sometimes I just forget what we was talking about previously and the context just, I'm wondering what the context was because we, we got like loads of discussion going on. Um, I know, I, I know you said you don't make joke sessions but really wanted to say street rat, you can ignore mine. <laughs> you like street rat. Well, we do need to think of some um, like sort of offensive words Carol will call people. Um, street rat... I mean, maybe she'd call different characters different things. Maybe she'll give Rose a name and the hero a name. Maybe maybe Flashbag is something she calls a generic human. But I could see her calling Rose something like something fitting with what she is and maybe the hero as well. Um, I feel like you should just RP an extra innocent kind of awkward younger woman and use whatever ditch word choice you first think to use there just make sure carol stays one of the more organic characters hold on is carol romance going to be the switch base or variable based if it's variable based there could be a romance option a compassion option and an asshole option well that's still up it very much 
something we have to still decide sexy because we absolutely have not really discussed the mechanics of the romance system yet um there's probably some plug-in or we won't necessarily have to do it with plugins but um we'll have to consider that the best most effective way to do it. it's still very much in the open what it's going to be and how it's going to work but we can always discuss it on the ideas channel if we've got so uh, more if one way is more effective than the other then i'll certainly we'll certainly do it the best way possible hi rod how are you doing it's good to see you organic kind of ironically gay given that she's otherwise but still also roll out works maybe roll out of here without a work because it seems a little cut but that might just be me overthinking it you think you could roll out yeah i actually agree battle sandwich i mean i'll put it there for now but when i put it in the dialogue discussion channel if anybody disagrees that they, they can totally say totally say in there because this is just the first draft guys this is just the first draft we don't have to doesn't have to be a hundred percent perfect or you know we can get a bit away with a bit of messiness at this stage as long as we've got the structure and the everything we need written inside um thought the same thing when i reread it um i really don't get your squ your squishy things i mean you can't even store things inside you what's the point of you <laughs> gosh carol's a mean eh? if we yeah i definitely think we should add of here there's just thought it read funny okay well it's there now so i agree i think it's, it adds it makes more sense this way that's beautiful sod off you bell and fletch bag sod off this is a very british yeah well i am british so i'm i'm kind of like with things like curse words or swear words and all that i'm still kind of unsure if we're gonna have them for carol because i'm wondering if there's any better fictional or barrel based swear words we could think of for creative reasons um i'm not against having things like bugger off or sod off or anything like that i mean um but we we kind of did say we'll go with a sort of fictional curse word setting so i'm still kind of thinking if we can think of really any really cool ones then we should probably go for that but we can always put words like that in for now as a, t a placeholder because it's the first draft and if anybody does think of any cool fictional or barrel based swear words then we can always like replace them i guess probably equipped for later more than now but 100% we need to write that down because it's hilarious okay I've got, I can't be forgetting these dialogue options so I'm gonna copy and paste I'm gonna add it I'm gonna just literally any dialogue stuff you guys say I'm gonna add to this random text box I think rather than my notepad folks I want you you all to be able to see I just wish it didn't like format it really oddly but never mind it's no big deal we'll just leave it like that doesn't have to look perfect for now um right she wouldn't be saying sad off or whatnot right because at this point she'd want to be sticking with him yeah i guess that's the thing like at this point she was angry but at this point she wants to be with him because she's joining the party so um but but yes yeah, carol will still keep up the a bit of violence and aggression in her tone even when she's one wants to be with him because it's a bit of a love hate thing going on with carol but um wait what you're british when did this happen i <laughs> know right son of a bucket was the first insult that popped to mind that's really cool as well matt emerald um, I'm going to add that one to our dialogue list as well. Between you and me, I think he's not entirely airtight, if you know what I mean. I think he might have a bit of leak tap side of their barrel. <laughs> Cocoon is super cute, son of a book. Yeah, my barrels look down upon buckets and bowls and such that would be funny yeah because they don't have lids so they're snobby 
anything that turns <laughs> a lid that means that anything can just go inside them the barrels are protected by their lids so I feel like they're <laughs> containers that don't see yeah exactly they're beneath them that's that's quite a cool idea actually son of a bucket Son of, son of a bowl doesn't have the same ring to it, but son of a bot book, it's good. Well, she can say something like, get out, and when the player starts leaving, then she can be like, no, wait, you're not getting away that easily. Yeah, so, I mean, this scene here, guys, obviously, like, if you feel like any of this dialogue at all could be improved, feel free, because she says get out at this point, because this is the bit she's mad. Um, I feel like this is already fine as it is. It's not fine, but obviously, who knows? Um, but yeah, at this point, she's like, one in. No way, you're not getting away that, that easy. So she, something like that could go here, but... I feel like this sentence here is pretty much what you're not getting away that easy, just in barrel language. She's like saying, you think you can roll out here without a word. You're inside of me. So, um, yes. And what's the next thing we have to say, really? So, really, the original idea was for her to say, we have to be married now because she was inside of me. And then she says, don't worry, we'll get lots of chances to explain the way of my people. But we, like we says, we'll scrap that because we, we feel like it's a bit too much for Carol to be saying that this soon. If we're going to have jokes about marriage, we'll introduce it a little bit later then, if that's what the majority think. And we'll keep it, still keep the the angry carol act a little bit longer before she starts getting affectionate and then really the next thing she says is one thing i can do is be your inventory you can put all your the the items you find inside me um and she we, i kind of was gonna like say some she was gonna have a quip saying you won't get jealous of them will you but i don't there's any need for that if we're not flirting at this point so but she does have to say that she's going to be an inventory she's going to be the inventory that's really the only real thing she has to say before the conversation ends but we can we can think about what else she could say maybe um hi true baldy how's it going it's good to see you i hope you're having an awesome day what kind of street pot do you take me for you can't just waltz off like you weren't just inside of me see this scene it seems now we're getting lots of different dialogue options which i like if you guys want to think of several ways we can do this sentence, I'm not against putting up a poll and then the one that gets the most we end up going with. Um, obviously, there'll be times when we don't get loads of suggestions and we'll just go with whatever we have. But if I find that we're getting lots of suggestions, I'm going to be tempted to put up a poll. But Because um, some of them are so good, you know, and it would be a shame to to not to not uh to miss some amusing dialogue moments um i hope i haven't missed any good ones i apologize if i have <laughs> um Hi, blue name person who I can't read. There's someone with a blue name. I can't see a blue name. Carol has desires and feelings, but she doesn't want to admit them as a matter of protecting herself. So she instead turns situations on others with hostile questioning. Yeah, that that makes sense. She's she's got to fit that Sunday uh, kind of tribe, and any type type of any type of affection at all is gonna come when she's got to know us. But I'm going to have a lot of work and stuff going on right now. Well, I hope it's a good, busy, true bowl day. And it's good to see you. She wants to make Avir and Hank proud, but she's not about to admit that dream to this stranger. Oh, but she's sweet then, Carol, if she wants to make her grandparents proud. She could just be saying that you won't get jealous, will you? Like snarkily. 
so we could i mean i'm not against adding that like you you know i'm just wondering if we should introduce the flirt in this quick but i i would be all for it because it's funny good tea you got a lot done yeah we have been missing you it's too good to it's that's too good a bit of quippy dialogue to pass up though yeah so guys we have to think of a good way to get this organized now because we had a lot of really really amusing suggestions um and i am thinking of doing a poll but i feel like everything's a bit of a mess at the moment with this particular dialogue conversation we need a bit more structure to it first and we i think i want to kind of at least put a conclusion to the conversation and then we can think about the poll after that um true baldy is blue for you it's, it's tr true baldy is yellow for me that's weird isn't it yeah that's that makes sense true baldy gotta gotta spend time on those hobbies it's hard to read some now oh right i say <laughs> Any plans for post stream this weekend? I'm going Christmas shopping this weekend. Tomorrow, actually. That's something different. So, so to me, it seems like she should be focused on finding her son. What she's telling the hero doesn't need to be a true motivation. It just needs to convenience the hero to let her come along. Because she's travelling with the hero safer and increases the chance she could find her kid. It's just that she isn't willing to open up about her real motivation yet because she's hurting on the inside. Yeah, I think zex has got it. Um, Carol, thinking from Carol's point of view right now, she... She is she's a, she's a lady on a mission. She wants to find her her lost friends, and she probably thinks hanging out with this hero, you know, it's gonna give her a bit more chance rather than be on her own. So she just needs a good excuse to hang out with him, and be with him, and she she opens up about her past once Rose joins, because Rose is the trigger. Um, once she sees Rose, all the memories come flooding back and she's reminded of that, that day and that is when she opens up. So this, this conversation isn't even going to be that long. It's going to be, a sh it's going to be short. All we need to do is literally get Carol to say, you can't go, you can't leave me and I'm going to be your inventory. And then that's it. That's really all it needs to be. So I think all we need to do is think of the funniest, wittiest line for, for when she says, you can't leave me. Basically the funniest way of saying that. And then the next bit after that can just be, I can be your inventory, but obviously something that's good. I think at the moment I've got, I can be your, I can be your inventory. You can put all the items you find inside me. You won't get jealous of them, will you? Um, that's, um, that is literally the line I've got for that and that would come after this. Um, whether the hero says something, uh, a dialogue choice and that increases or decreases one of his uh, traits, we don't know. I'm open to suggestions there. So yeah. Dialogue after you were inside of me, suggestion, no, we're staying together now. As soon as I find my son, we're heading back into town to settle this. Oh, we're not going to mention the son yet. It's too premature. I feel like at, at the moment, we mentioning any motivation of Carol's is too soon. Um, but when when Rose comes, it, it just feels like the perfect time then. So just keep things brief for now and motivation goals and that can come come after. That's what I think anyway. Just because if we start talking about the sun now, it's going to be a bit like, what? That's, you know, it's just a bit out the blue maybe. 
um well guys i wish you an all person evening morning whatever time you gotta go it was nice to talk to you guys see you all soon bye bye true baldy thanks for coming and saying hello to us today and i hope your music and all all the stuff goes well let us know even post it in the discord if you'd like to as well very good points by Zexion yeah okay so this particular dialogue line here I, you can't even store things inside of you what's the point of you um i like it but i feel like there's a time that that would be the perfect quip like that once there's a, a relevance a reason for saying something like that um like maybe the hero says something like a really asshole thing and she she respond in anger saying that then i'd say um so i feel like i want to i kind of want to do a poll with some of these and i um i want to still i want to put zexes on there about the extended warranty i mean i know you said that was a joke but I feel like it's worthy of putting out as a poll option because I'm, I, I'm, I actually find it funny. And I like some of the other suggestions too. Um, but before we do that, uh, I'm going to just pop the last one. Just put that out there for a sec. We have, we have to end it with the inventory comment, so... So something like that and that's really kind of the first draft. Uh, so she does ask a question, you won't get jealous of them with this, so there is an opportunity for the hero to say something at this point. The conversation doesn't necessarily have to end there. Um, but it also could just end there and then we the carry on the heroes goes for the everbloom forest and um that's it we can keep it short and sweet so i guess we'll see what you guys think if you like to add it add it to a poll for sure i feel like we won't always do a poll when we do dialogue because we could it could literally will t take forever to do a dialogue scene if we do a poll for everything but in certain circumstances when there's been some really creative lines suggested we'll do a poll um, and it's not always going to be like that some lines will we won't there won't be all, all these suggestions but for this particular one we had quite a few a few amusing ones so we should we could do a poll for sure and we've got to check our other polls and see how they're getting on as well so let's have a little peek looks like rex one with the huge painting everybody like that one it kind of kicked the asses of all the others um and, and yeah the the give, give the choice of whether the fruit should die or run away seems to have won as well and oh so at the moment fruits of wrath is winning and the the suggest the paint famous painting one is a close runner up the round bottom boys was like a very popular one early on but it's kind of it's kind of lost its popularity slightly now um but i'm gonna give still give you a bit of chance to to vote we i feel like we should i cl should close this poll at the end of stream that'll be a fair time to close this poll i think so yeah we'll leave it open until the end of stream and then literally whatever is top of that time is the one we're gonna go with um, and and because round bottom boys and the the artist 
one say if they end up the runner up if that's how the poll ends then we could always reference them in dialogue you know what i mean as joke um that's not we could always still make that reference um but we'll see what the results are like at the end um okay so just say no no we're staying together until we can get back to town and settle this and besides this place isn't all that safe so least you can do is be useful keeping me safe while we're out here i have some business to take care of and my way out out of town the it's cool to like say that but the only thing about that it makes it seem like carol's only going to be with us temporarily like until we get back to the town but I she is full time our inventory. Um, that's the fact. She's forever with us on this journey now, and I don't. I don't. I'm not sure. I'm not sure we should give away anything about Carol just yet. Like saying that she's got business and stuff. I know that that could create a bit of mystery and could potentially be, but I still think it's a bit early, in my opinion. Anyway, maybe others disagree, but um gonna head off stay warm good evening take care rod thanks for stopping by have an awesome day and weekend more important thought than that dialogue vomit above uh mention inventory in a second quick independent dialogue bit like after winning the next combat you get an item and her dialogue opens up after explaining i can be your inventory jealous of them you get an item oh you so you think have have that come up afterwards after there's been a battle which is you know that isn't we could always do that like that because there'd be a bit of relevance to mentioning at that point so that that could be a possibility but if we were going to do it that way, like if this is going to be a separate thing that happens after a battle, then we'll have to kind of still conclude this conversation somehow. Famous pet, go ahead and say, yeah, I can't pronounce it. It's tragic. It's fine if it seems like she'll be temporary, even though she won't be. Fair enough if it's too early for details. I do think turning around from being upset to instantly having a service is your inventory is a bit of a strange tempo. Yes, have that come up on its own after it's relevant. Yeah. Um, is my music playing? No. Um, I've not got my earphones in today because I've got a migraine, so that's why I'm not. But So I didn't hear it, but I'll, I'll put it back on playlist ended <laughs> thanks for letting me know um the only thing i'll say whatever you write it should hold up as a motivation on the subsequent playthroughs when a player already knows carol's story that's true because we are going to have the replayability factor with our game so that this di this particular dialogue line will be seen again um off of, uh, so hmm I, I'm I'm very much for keeping this brief. Like, we're not going to have like a massive long description of what Carol's up to or anything like that. She, yeah, and but I do agree about the inv inventory point about maybe having a pop up after a battle and say I can be your inventory at that point. Then the, it makes more sense for her to say it when you've actually got some loot rather than when you haven't got loot because at this particular stage you, you've got nothing on you anyway um so yeah i'm i'm i can i can believe that that's a, a cool idea so thank you for that um so ending this conversation without detail could be simple no i'm coming with you for now even now until we can settle this or even just i'm coming with you for now and giving no room for argument yeah so it's very it would act very much as the same of what the marriage one was where she says you were the first person to be in Sami, so we have to get married now um except without saying the marriage bit <laughs> basically um but you know we've got a few options here for what that could actually be 
we haven't got much room, I have to say. I would like to find a bit of space for this. We'll put it over here, that's it. And we'll actually get the formatting properly done on this because it looks a bit of a mess. Um, But this particular line, I'm going to remove that one. It was good. I think, was that Fox's suggestion? I like it. But it'll be, there'll probably be a better part to use it in another dialogue conversation when she's really mad. She would say something like that. Um, son of a bucket as well. I'm, I'll add that to my notes. And when there's a good time to say that she probably will because it's funny sorry for frying out the dollar paragraphs kind of cluttery but they're 100 percent fine to throw at at will not like they're a ton of effort just trying to give options feel out what you're looking for and whatnot well no worries i mean this is uh very much a first draft and uh, it'll all get put in the dialogue suggestions channel and people will have options to say um, what they think of it then as well. So nothing is like final at this point, um, but but I am still tempted to do a poll at least, at least because there's a couple of funny ones and I guess it's thinking what direction we'll go in. Um, not going to have a massive long description of what Kylie's up to, of course not, it's only available versus microtransactions. Oh gosh. Hire them as assistant to production manager. Okay, so. So. So this is one. The one that we've currently got in here now. The one that's here about uh, you can't just waltz off like you weren't just inside. I mean, it's very similar to that one. The only difference is he says roll out of here instead of waltz off. Um, I mean, sure, Carol Bowles, not a boy. <laughs> um, but it's really one of these versus versus uh, Zexians. And this one that I'm coming with you. It could literally, we could literally add something like that at the end. We don't need to mention until we get to town and settle this. I'm not sure if we need to add that extra fluff. Um, the, f the fact that she's mad that you was inside of her in the first place and stole her dignity is enough of a reason for why she isn't gonna i mean i don't know i'm just i'm just one of these minimal dialogue people i kind of only like dial i don't like want to add extra if i can help it i only want to add it if it really adds and is important um extra fluff might be unnecessary when you're trying to keep it short yeah i'm you might notice that about me as we do this i'm probably gonna cut things just because I like, I'm the minimal style of person. I mean, I love loads of dialogue. Don't get me wrong, I'm a big fan of heavy dialogue and stuff. But I feel like it, as long as it has a purpose and adds. Um, right, so. I've got the LOL still at the end. Um. So really that this is the same. I mean, we got the streak pop thing and whether that's going to be something we use as a word, I don't know at that this point. Maybe things like little slang words is something we could add in the second draft. So um, we'll stick to the original one for now. And if we want to add things like little barrel related slang words, we can always 
you know, you can always think about adding them there. But these ones, um, I think these two are the good ones we can. So the oi one, we've got to weigh up flesh bags. So that we've already had that there. Um, so I think, I think that will make sense. Uh, weigh up flesh bag. You think you can roll out here without a word? You were inside of me. I'm coming with you. Way up, flash bag. You voided my extended warranty. You're not going anywhere without me. You're you're responsible for covering any damages I suffer now. Okay, so are you guys happy with them? It's your last chance to suggest any potential edits before I put the poll, and whatever one wins will be the what goes what goes in uh, <laughs> in that particular line and really maybe that's all we need and then the scene ends carol's with us and when we fight our first battle which is basically pretty soon after the conversation the the, the on-screen mapping count is right there she can pop out again and say this and uh and then that's it. And the next Carol conversation will be this when Cat the Carol and Rose, when she recognises Rose and points that out just before the flashback starts. Um, shush, they haven't announced their offer to buy yet. Yeah, oh no, the dreaded EA has been mentioned in my precious chat. <laughs> oh shoot, I knew there was an email I forgot to send. Okay, so I like both. Um, there's just something really, really bonkers I like about that one, and I feel like it's worth putting a poll up. I don't want to, I don't want to cook it and just go with this one. I want to at least give it a chance for it to go up for a vote and see see whether it's too bonkers for the community or bonkers enough to be the one that people want to go with. So we'll have it as a poll. Um, And then really that that's it. I think that that works as a first draft and once we know which one's won and we can always add extra fancy words like barrel related slangs um, in our second draft. And then other than that, the next time we're gonna work on dialogue will be when we do the the actual flashback stuff, I guess. And that'll be fun. And we'll we also have a really fun conversation we'll have when we encounter the fruits too. So lots of fun dialogue streams coming up. And um, yeah, the ones that are crossed out already done. So basically already de already done finalised those dialogue lines. Um, so yeah, this, this let's get a part of then. And also let's check how they're getting on. Ooh, so we still got an hour of stream left. So we've got still got some time. We don't have a winner just yet. Um, pretty happy with these as poll options. Yeah, let's get them put up then. So we got loads of polls at the moment in our poll channel, but that's totally fine. Um, I'm gonna probably, I'm gonna actually rename this to the poll, polls above because otherwise people will think this poll will close today as well. Um, okay, so let's think of how we're gonna word this. Um, what should Carol the Barrel say to the hero when he leaves Lightfall? After he leaves Lightfall, something like that. Or what should Carol but the barrel say to the hero? Um, yeah, I don't know. It could be anything. As long as it makes sense, the question. Um, or what should Carol the barrel say to the hero before she joins him? Hmm. Before she 
he joins. So what should we go with? What should Carol Bow say to the hero before she joins him? Or what should Carol Bow say to the hero after he leaves Aikful? Could be either. I'm just being a fuss part right now. Either works. So let's get our dialogue in. Sure, we had some contacts to this though and mentioned that the hero was inside her. I know. Just in case people vote that don't actually have a clue what happened before. But there we go, we're almost ready to submit this. How should we, how should Ca Carlo, is Carlo the male version of Carol? Should, how should Carol finish this dialogue tree? Show his picture of dialogue tree. Yeah, that's probably the most organised way to do it. So, the sensible way would to be put question marks here and say where should, what should be, in the, what uh, line should be there. We don't necessarily need to show that one because that will come after and it's not part of it. So, maybe it's a good idea to show it all. So to give a bit of context to this, to this entire Carol um, encounter, because people will, will need to know what happened, what was said before, and it's important to show that the hero was inside. Other people, people just won't get it. Otherwise, there'll be absolutely no understanding of the dialogue. So. Yeah, let's take a screenshot of this then. Put that in as the picture before the pile and then just say what should what should what line should be where the question marks are or something to that degree. Carlo DLC rescreen, do get that mustachy goodness on our romance options. <laughs> well, Hank. Hank, if you like the mustache, Hank. Um I don't know if Hank's gonna be romanceable though, but uh, we still got Elite's character with the moustache, and there'll probably be loads of other NPCs that we make with the moustache. We're still very much in early game. The amount of characters that we'll have over the course of this journey will be crazy compared to what we've got now. Having weird network issues, BRB on oh, no Elite. I hope you get it fixed. That is dookie. Okay, so I'm going to take a screenshot, um, get paint up, get this saved and popped in. And like I say, you know, sometimes we won't do this with dialogue. It, it'll probably be um, most boxes of dialogue we'll have will be straightforward probably. But whenever something happens, like there's a lot of really cool creative suggestions for a particular dialogue box dialogue sentence you know i'm gonna want to put up a poll because i'm gonna feel it's a shame for something to potentially be cut if it's funny or amusing um okay so that is saved so i'm just gonna copy that poll get the image in first so Pile, pile four, because it's a four pile. But once these get deleted, I'll probably rename it to pile one, because it'll be the only pile left. The these three piles here will are, are only staying until the remainder of this stream. Okay, so. What dialogue line should go something like that? I'm never happy with my wording of things. 
All jokes, I still love the idea of Hank walking Carol down the aisle and maybe that'll happen. If it's, you know, if it's, it seems like, you know, a really adorable thing, I don't see why we shouldn't have something like that happen. If, if Carol's the romance option, that is, at the end of the game. <laughs> what if Carol gets killed off? Then there won't be any wedding at all. But that's not going to happen. Carol survives. Well, we don't know for sure, do we? Perhaps I have no clue. I couldn't imagine Carol getting killed off, though. She 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 strikes me as someone that will be there until the end. Um, so I'm thinking that, that is what our part. Let's get it up. Delete that. Does that make sense? It's a poll question, guys. I hope it all makes sense. I hope it's all clear. So we've got the choice of two, and whatever wins will be what goes there. How are we getting on with our other polls? Welcome back, Elite. Yeah, if it stays this way and Fruits of Wrath do win, I'd say we definitely need, at least need to make a reference to this and the round bottom. <laughs> Maybe that can just be said as a joke. Maybe even a random NPC like for could say, Did you did you see those round bottom boys in the ancient overlook in the Everbloom Forest? I oh, know. Just just for laughs. Or it could just be a nickname. Um or even yeah, we'll say. Well if it's appropriate to add something like that. Yeah, makes sense to me. I love the warranty thing, but I had to go with A for now. LOL. Ooh, A's getting the votes. <laughs> we'll see what wins, though. I feel like we need to keep this poll open. Um, I don't know when to close it, though, this one, because we it's the last stream of the, uh, it's the last stream of the week today. And I feel like having it open till Monday, I'm going to want to know, because I'm going gonna, gonna to want to do the dialogue scene. In for our video, the story so far, and I'll probably show. I'll probably end up showing whatever dialogue wins in the video. So I feel like we should probably keep it open for a day. So even though I'm not streaming tomorrow, the poll will probably close tomorrow. So, ooh. We'll see what wins. I do like both. Like the A option is very much the vet the standard. Like the but the B is the real bonkers choice in in a really bonkers way. And we'll see what gets it. <laughs> I changed my vote to the fruits of wrath. Oh, I'm intrigued to know why. Uh, um. Why, why uh, people have suddenly warmed to the fruits of Rafa, the round button boys. But, you know, that's fine. I, f I feel like people jumped on round button boys yesterday because we had a good laugh about it in chat, didn't we? I think it was just something we all found really hilarious. <laughs> um, but everybody suddenly, like, switched to fruits of Rafa, which is a good one. It gets straight to the point, you know. But, you know, I'm, te I'm tempted to have a faction in the game called Round Bond Boys now. An actual faction. <laughs> and, you know, we, we should probably make... the set Because the painting's such a close runner-up, it feels like there should be at least a reference to that. Um, Round Bond Boys maybe hasn't got enough votes at this point now to end up becoming a reference. But still... It, it's funny enough to consider having as a future faction name, I feel. 
Your explanation was a good one. <laughs> but thank you for all the votes, everyone. I love how popular the painting option was. Like, everybody loves that one. Oh! So, all of a sudden, Beers made a shocking... The underdog has come out on top all of a sudden. Who knows? I'm going to put up a note here about when this poll's going to close as well, because... So people know... The poll above, ooh, the poll above will close on Friday, the 6th of December, at, what's the time now? It's going to be weird tomorrow because I'm going Christmas shopping. I'm going to say 6. Actually, no, I'm going to say seven because I, I might not still be quite home at this point. So I'm going to say 7 p.m. Nah, I'll be back by six. I'll say six. Um, GMT, so that will be 12, 8, 12 p.m. CST and 10 a.m. PST, right? There we go, guys. Thank you for your votes. I'm going to pop the poll command to chat if anybody's a lazy one and wants to get there the quick way. <laughs> Maybe continue numbering each poll, say polls at four and five. Oh, yeah, good idea, actually. Because after all, that is why we have numbered them. Piles 1, 2 and 3 will close um, Thursday through December during stream. Pile 4 will close Friday the 6th of December. Cool. So these ones will be deleted very soon, guys. I will, as soon as stream ends... We come towards the end of the stream, I'll be taking screenshots of each of them and we'll know the winner and I will delete them on the stream once I've took, taken those screenshots. So everyone's going to know what's won by the end of the stream. But we're, gonna, we're not going to close the poll officially until the stream's ended. We want to give it the fair chance. Um, right, so it, at this moment it looks like we'll end up having B and that would be so wild but we'll see things could drastically change in 24 hours we'll see I, I will be happy with whatever one wins be happy with whatever one wins okay guys I'm gonna go have my BRB it is snack time for me um, so give me a few minutes just to have a walk around um, and uh, I'll be back shortly and uh, when we when I'm back what will we do yeah I feel like there's nothing really to change with that dialogue unless I put it in the dialogue discord channel and someone has an idea for changing the wording but we'll keep it like that for the first draft um, and, and I'll take a screenshot of this again and pop it in the dialogue ideas channel once we've got the winner for this dialogue line and really, other than that, Carol, all the Carol out the barrel things will be done. And yeah, the dialogues we need will be done. And it'll literally just be the dialogue for the flashback sequence and when Rose joins and the fruit encounter that will really be the, the ones we work on um, after. I was going to start adding... Um, something for Nigel Buckington I was going to do his dialogue tray we could still do that because I kind of feel it's worth putting it in so people get a chance to suggest edits for it because I literally wrote that when the community was still very new and the game was still in its very early data streams 
and um it might not be 100 percent perfect dialogue wise the nigel buckington scene so maybe we still got like a good portion of stream left so it feels like maybe that could be what we do um, for the rest of stream um and i hope um there'll be like lots of fun barrel we'll revisit the barrel side of things as well next week and the first battle we'll we'll um clear things up more with that, that those sides of the story as well we'll we'll think for an official name for carol's son and what color the cookie jar is going to be and we'll work on the assets and we'll um really finalize the first boss mechanics as well and how that's all going to work because zexy put some skill suggestions in discord i saw as well so well we can talk about that next week as well a bit more and start implementing the skills good to have you back yeah i'll be back in a set then guys um be a few minutes um feel free to talk amongst yourselves if you if you wish
Hello, I am back. I have got my snack, my almond milk, which if you haven't tried it, by the way, I say definitely try it's good. I've also got some um, booby chocolate. Um, I've only got a few, a few left. But I'm a very hungry one and I need my snack. Thank you for the welcome back and also I've got to welcome these new peeps into the discord because I'm I'm the friendliest and it's always it's always lovely to see to see people hopping in like seriously the last three months of streaming for me I've had I've had like double the people in my discord and I've been streaming for two years pretty cray oops I've already said welcome I know I mean what's going on what's happening 250 people in our discord now think it isn't that trashy carol the barrel that does the welcoming here <laughs> right that's it oops i put the wrong email address in I'm almost say, oh my goodness, Neffle, you are like four round drops away. GG to you. She just doesn't like you because she knows you that you don't want a romance. Her. She thinks that she she can get anyone she wants at Carol the Barrel. But Zexian's immune to your charms, I'm afraid. Carol can't doesn't work with Zexian. He wants the moustache. No, <laughs> she speaks. She's uh, she's trying to she's quite trying to hold back. She's, to tr she's not gonna get in a fight. <laughs> she thinks she's too good for you. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'll end up laughing if we end up having <laughs> bots of all sorts of characters in our Discord eventually. I was tempted to get a Stumpy bot as well, and he'd be the cute one. Oh my goodness me, look what I pulled out of the barrel. We all know that she is, you think Carol the Barrel's too good for you? No way. She is a bit, you know, she's a catch, look at her. Look at her, that's a catch that is. Okay, so how are our polls getting on? So, yeah, this one's going to be a bit of a difficult one because obviously I'm going to be offline um, in, in, in a little bit and then the poll will close while I'm offline. So we might not get as many votes on this particular poll as we usually get. But I have noticed people do vote on our polls while I am offline. Um, the... Uh, the one, I forgot what poll it was now, the one about Carol's Companions, that was it, this one. This one actually ended up getting a lot of offline votes, so people do 
pop in and look, which is cool. So we'll, we'll say, but whatever is top will be what we go for. So I'm excited. She's a strong loving mother. Ah, oh, the cookie jar. I feel like the cookie jar could potentially end up being one of my favourite characters. It all depends what their personality's like. But I feel like they're going to be the precious one. Like the super sweet precious boy. And that that's usually the character type I love. So. What's winning? Fruits of Wrath is still doing it. But you know, we'll, we'll say, we'll say. Okay, so, Nigel Buckington dialogue. It's done and it's already in the game, but it was never, um, it never went through the editing process. Um, I just literally wrote in RPG Maker without doing one of these. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a fly for Nigel Buckington's dialogue, just because I want to have record of all the dialogue in the game and I want to keep it all organized um, and also just to give people the opportunity to suggest improvements if they've got it and I'll literally just pop in here as well as cut the carol the barrel dialogue as well tomorrow when the poll closes and um, and we probably won't do any more dialogue stuff at that point until with uh maybe we've finished the battle mechanics and we've done the assets for carol the barrels family because i feel that will be the right time then to write the dialogue for that scene and start working on the flashback and same for the encounter with the fruits we'll probably want to get the battle um plan first we don't necessarily have to get the battle done first before we work on that fruit dialogue but it might help us inspire some ideas for the dialogue when we know what the battle mechanics already are and how they work um so yeah they prob that's we'll probably get though the battle and the assets done first but i'm super excited to work on on those dialogue scenes because before we move back to lakefall and start doing side quests and stuff i want to get those all done i want to get all these eight finished because this is the main story and the most important bit and the side quests can all come after that and um, we'll probably be doing side quests for a while because I really want quite a few a lot in Everbloom Forest I feel like it's a, a really cool map that I'm proud of making and I feel like a lot there could be a lot of goings on in there and a lot of lore going on in the Everbloom Forest and I have to say like I was I've only skim read this here but it got me excited to what I did read. So I am going to respond to this later. Probably while I'm in bed or something. And, um, and and have a little chat about that. But I feel like what we've got, the plan of everything could work quite well. Um, everything ties in together. And whether we need the moss anymore, I do, I do agree with your point. It's probably redundant now. And I think the only reason we probably will need the moss is if it's, you know, there's a reason for it. Like it has to be a physical object or something. But it seems like it, we don't necessarily have to go with that. We can just go for a pure spell now. And it could still work. As long as it all still works, then, yeah. But... It, there's a lot of exciting things i like some of the ideas and there's a there's a bit of lore already developed from this and it's it's exciting so um so yeah we'll probably be in the everbloom forest for a while um probably well into the spring of next year and i don't know episode one of the game might just be the everbloom forest but it, we might have the next zone in as well it's a bit early to say at this point um how long episode one's content's gonna be i think i'll judge when we've got more everbloom forest uh quests done because it'll all depend on how lengthy it all is and if we feel we need a bit more content then we'll probably um work, start working on the next zone and release episode one after zone two's done but we'll we'll, we'll judge more when the time comes 
Um, any chance we could get a lake, like lake full demo at some point when we can run around talking to NPCs and play test the dialogue, see how it feels from a player side perspective? We could totally release a demo. Someone asked once, they came in and says, is there going to be a demo? Um, I was kind of like thinking, well, because we really, it's an episode again, we might not need demos, but it might be a good idea just to release one, you know, anyway, probably where we've got it mechanically working a bit more. Um, there's a few little buggy things to fix. Um, and once, once things are working and it's, then maybe I'll probably release a demo and see what you guys think and stuff. And, um, one thing that does need to do be done is Lakefall needs to be turned into a parallax map. Um, I'm going to just open RPG Maker MV. There's a few little graphical glitches with Lakefall that need to be fixed. That unfortunately, tile sets can't fix. Um, for example, like there's little weird graphical glitches, like with the grass and the blending. And one thing, the main reason I want it to be a parallax map is because I want to like put some flowers around the edges in the style of however Bloom Forest looks, just so it's not like too sudden, it, the reg, the areas more blend in together and look a bit more natural that way. Um, but not all of Lake Fall is going to be covered in flowers, like it would literally be just some, some of the edges up here. Um, and we can just like, you know, make it just look a bit prettier and sort out those graphical glitches. Um, I, one thing I have done is add a footsteps plugin as well. So when when you walk on here, this bridge, you'll hear a wood footstep sound. When you walk on the grass, it's more of a grass squishy sound. And same for when you walk on the path, it sounds more like stone. So, and I, I think that really adds to the immersion. Um, and I have to do the same for Everbloom Forest as well. It just makes a, a real difference, a, ni a nice subtle difference. Um, but I'll probably start working on the lake full mapping and tidy it all up once we've finished all the, the scenes in the Everbloom Forest for the main quest. So basically, I'm, I'm rambling on here and you guys can't even see the RPG maker I've just realised because I've, I've kept the discord open but um, but yeah <laughs> sometimes I do that by accident right make make it look like late fall was a part of the Everbloom forest at one point long time ago yeah I think you get the point of what I'm trying to say anyway I mean I'll get it up here so you can see properly um so we do what there are like flowers spread around like full but everbloom forest has them all like clustered together more and i just like want to add some of that clustered look to the just to the edges the corners of the maps just so it fits the areas fit they look like they're part of the same place because you know it, it's too much of a a difference otherwise and i think i want to try and have that kind of thing with mapping like when we move between zones and regions and um, like if we go from a foresty area like this to a mountainous region um, that have like it would slowly the mountains would change from the cliffs into another kind of so just something that just makes it look not too um, like you know random and a sudden change so I, I'm excited to do another zone, but I want to make the most of like full first for sure. Um, but yeah, mate, that's a possibility. So really, the main goal is get the the cutscenes, the main quest done, all all the sequence with Carol the Barrel and her flashback, all the fruit boss cutscenes, um, and. Once all that's done and dusted, all the battles working perfectly, no bugs at all through it, it all run, run seamlessly, then I think it'll be an amazing time to open up side quests at that point. Because then all we, we'd really have to do is think of some really cool side quests, add them to the game, uh, trigger them, um, and like decide where they take place in the Everbloom Forest and make them and uh, 
we'll have to have an item stream as well at some point because we really have not discussed items in this game much we don't even know what we're going to call our potions yet antidotes and all those things and we need so that'll be something fun to discuss and same with loot drops as well we'll have to discuss loot drops that the enemies drop um and things like the world map and what the the world is actually going to be called is something that i'm really excited about too but that'll all happen when we've finished everbloom forest i'd say that once everbloom forest is done and we're going to move to another area that'll be the opportunity then to think of the world map and potentially what comes next and um start thinking about different regions and names for the regions and the world itself because we just don't we don't know do we well what is the no it'll be super cool to put up a poll for things like that um for the world the raindrop world items in this economy yeah like that's something to consider because you know we're gonna have loot drops Z we're probably gonna have the crafting system as well um somebody met someone who mentioned the crafting way up here a while ago oh it was you it was axion yeah and uh, i think like i said very early in 2020 we'll probably discuss that like whenever the opportunity to talk about items comes up which I feel like the ideal time for items discussion will be when we start introducing the side quests because we're going to want to think about rewards and I mean yeah we're going to want to think of the general loot drops that the enemies have as well because that just hasn't been decided yet and weapons armor like the original thing that the hero has equipped I'll probably be an upgrade version of, of the next thing in the shop that's sold in like full and um same for rose's weapon as well i'll probably be an upgraded one for that and yeah we'll just have to think something that fits with the world it'll be really cool to have items that fit if if, if possible i mean i just don't want to steal final fantasy's names for our items like have potion and antidote it'd be cool to be a bit creative about it so um be fun it was you yeah i completely forgot about that i knew that someone mentioned the crafting and i've just remembered it was you this whole time i can hear chairs maybe my dinner's nearly ready right so are we gonna are we gonna soon put a close to these piles i think we're gonna have to very soon because we are we are nearing the end of stream so everybody if you are lurking or if you're just coming in it's your final chance so we're going to be screenshotting them and deleting them very very soon and um yay hype so i'm going to be doing a bit of stuff probably off stream before monday won't ha won't be able to do tons because i'm having to do christmas related stuff we're putting up our decorations this weekend and we're going christmas shopping and i'm gonna have to tidy up my room as well because it's a mess i'm having visitors this christmas as well so but i when i get a chance to go on my computer i love doing this stuff off stream and uh i i think i'm gonna make it a priority to get the story so far video done um but we'll have to wait until we know what the dialogue line is first uh, so that's tomorrow um and next week i mean we'll be doing a mixture of barrel stuff like the barrel assets and chatting about the barrels and deciding you know what they look like and mainly what the little 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 boy cookie jar looks like because he's the one that we've got a question mark over at the moment and then the the battle stuff because i know like we were halfway through it last stream and we still got some more stuff to discuss but we'll we'll now that the polls have closed we're gonna know really where to take that battle we'll have a better idea because we've we know what it transforms into now and um it might allow give us a bit of ideas there um yay van oh my goodness van 230 you're doing good let's have a let's have a peek at who's coming up um 
just have a switch to well switch screen we'll just have a look at who is coming up to being close to the raindrops so Neffle has just made it you've done it Neffle you've done it GJ so feel free to choose what kind of character you want to be fill in that form whenever you want um, and I will add you to my Trello list and the progress with character sheets probably going to be not done that fast because it's Christmas month but I'm still going to probably slowly work on them and get one done at least once a week if I can and um, once January comes and Christmas either I'm going to really get in productive mode then and get work on this more often um, but generally the last three months have been really productive of, of doing this we've got quite a bit done like the last few months um i think something interesting for a couch i hope you will approve it yeah i'm excited to say and to really who's coming up yeah we've got we've got battle sandwich here not far battle sandwich but other than that we've not got anyone else that's coming super close but storm eagle and val they, they recently hit the 500, so they, they could be doing character sheets soon, maybe, I guess we'll say. But uh, we have we have quite a, a, a little bit of a list here at the moment. I'll probably do them in order. Um, but yeah, hype, excite. Right, time to close the polls then. I'm going to get paint open so I can do a screenshot. So literally, you got your last chance. Last chance to vote. Congratulations, yay! It's not easy getting those 500. I feel like it's easy enough, you know, it's not too out of reach, but it's still a challenge. You still gotta be, like, you know, a, a regular in the community to, to get those raindrops, which is fair. So it makes sense to be that before you get to be a character. Um, okay, so. Oh my goodness me, we've got a draw last second, just as I took the screenshot. We literally have a draw. Now this is the dilemma here. This is like the literal <laughs> dilemma now, because we cannot close the poll if there's a draw. And I know that I could always vote, but I feel like I, sh I don't want to vote for this one, because I like all the ideas. Can't do that to me. <laughs> I voted, did you? My goodness. So we do have a draw with the special painting reference by Zexion. And we have the Fruits of Wrath the same. So this is interesting. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? What if the idea is based on your wisdom? That's interesting as well. Um, I'm... I don't know if there'll be much wisdom at the start of the game. Looking at the dialogue tree, there's a chance to gain a wisdom point here in the conversation with Fiona Buckington. Um, but other than that, there's no other opportunity to gain wisdom. So it's a very small chance, you know. I mean, we could have it so if you do have that one wisdom point, yeah. Well, what do you reckon? Because it is a draw, so it we in our oh, we've got another vault. I was saying it's a draw, but we've got we've got another vault for the fruits of wrath. So, looking at this, when it's such a close run, though, I feel like we need to still make a strong reference to it. So, e even if say now as it stands, fruits of wrath wins. Fruits of Wrath would be the official one that they are named, but the Decavagongas, <laughs> I'm the worst, I'm the worst human for not being able to say that. Um, it can be referenced in Lake for by somebody, they can mention the fruits in passing, or maybe even in the conversation with the fruits it gets referenced. We could do that. What do, we, what do you reckon, guys? So if you have high wisdom, you're smart enough to know who, otherwise they think you're fruits of wrath. I would say that would be a fabulous idea if we'd already had a bit of wisdom 
opportunity to gain it because we're at such at the start of the game the wisdom is just so tiny at this point it's literally one point um oh we're still we're at a draw again <laughs> my goodness we're not getting this one decided are we shall we leave this poll open over the weekend and we'll review it monday's stream i feel like because it's literally a tie we should probably do that because it's um it's coming up towards the end of the stream now and we haven't got a clear winner where can i put the character form the character form will automatically get saved and sent to me you just have to fill it in and if you i'll just i'll send you the link i'll just go right where it is it's right here on the information and faq page so that'll take you to the the google doc and that will have the list of all the forms to fill in but you just need to submit it that's all you need to do now for it's back to a draw now all the drama all the drama hi david did i say hi to you i hope i did can't remember if i did or not i had left it lurking while I went out back to dig the ditch is going to be actually signing off all the way in a bit well welcome back sandwich and I appreciate the lurk and we're going off in a bit as well soon but we're, we're at a real we're stuck just as we're about to finish for the day this happens a draw on the pole it's crazy all the loves to everyone here hope you'll have a lovely day so see you next time i'm excited for monday we've got some f more fun stuff to do carrying on with this battle and doing more barrel assets and having fun with them Hi, hi Aita, welcome back. Is the art custom mode and how big the project going to be in terms of chapters? Also, what does the part of chit chat influence and develop exactly mean? Well, as you can see, we've got a ton of polls here. So basically everything is decided um, by the community via Discord reactions on polls. So anytime we have a lot of ideas in chat and the opportunity to make a poll comes up we will do that and the story will go whatever way the winner is um and no it isn't custom made simply for because for the nature of this project we want to get it done in five years rather than 20 years <laughs> so um it's probably going to be quite a long game like you know how an rpg is try and make it as an epic as possible but we're thinking about it in small chunks rather than as a whole because it's going to be all it's going to be released episode at least. so um we're working on episode one we'll see how that goes and once episode one's released we'll be starting to work on episode two leave it open do a follow-up poll of just the two and let people vote for one that's a good idea sexy so what i'm actually going to do um, I'm going to leave this poll open the whole weekend and we will see how things are on Monday. If it's still a draw, we'll do another poll with just the two and then we will truly see the winner. I feel like if we ever be, have a head-to-head -head like this, that should probably be how we handle it. Maybe have a second poll with just the two options. So, yeah, but the other polls can go because we pretty much <laughs> have decided who the winner is here. It's they pretty much won it hands down um voting for both choices in a runoff is kind of pointless voting for both choices in a runoff is kind of pointless yeah some people might vote for both i think that's just how discord reactions are i don't know if we can change it to only vote for one the link is not working isn't it it should be it should be working Unless I copied and pasted it wrong. I'm going to click it myself. That's weird. Okay, I'm sorry about that. That is my fault. I must have copied and pasted the wrong link when I... Uh, made the custom link or something but this is the long link um you can click that and it should take you there
no harm i guess i think you know, if people want to vote i know that there's a few people here that vote for all of them and i think that's because they want to be nice and give love to all the suggestions which is totally fine but i think ultimately people will there will be an overall winner in the end we will get we will get our overall winner um you could do a straw pile for the runoff. Could do. I'm going to admit I hate how a straw pile looks because it's got that horrible yellow background. <laughs> because I like to keep a record um, of all the piles. And, um, for consistency reasons, we we'll, might stick to Discord just for that. But but yeah, without any straw pile, why not ugly? <laughs> See, you could break the tie rows, you could put so much time to make a second to count that you could vote. Yeah, sometimes I am going to want to vote, guys. Like when we voted for our favourite barrels, I had a strong opinion of what barrels I wanted, so I voted then. But for this particular one, I honestly think there's a lot of creative choices here, and I, I am very. I'm just so like undecided. Fruits of Wrath is really good. I really think that's a really good name. Get straight to the point. But I like your idea as well, Zexy, because it's like a bit of a really cool reference for people that understand it. So I'm torn. Okay, thank you. Hi, Pia de Bia. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Okay, that sounds pretty great. Can't wait for the first release. Actually, thank you, Aita. Yeah, I mean, some assets are sort of custom made and heavily edited these fruits were heavily edited from a, sl a battle slime asset there's also um a huge painting asset that i'm gonna have to edit myself too because that doesn't exist but i'll tell you now guys i have a good plan and i'm going to show you what that plan is uh -huh. i found an asset that's going to be perfect to turn into a painting but i want to show you because i got excited when i saw it and carol the barrel was kind of custom made and her companions will be too but overall you know 90 percent of the project is going to be existing resources just for time reasons because game, game development is a huge huge thing like when you're one person doing it you know there's like so many things um so uh right so hmm where is this where do where is it here it is let's get photoshop open so this is by the same battle artist because i'm using all their stuff and they have so many assets it's great and they have this mimic door so all we need to do is delete that bit um just literally get rid of the door knob and turn it into like a frame we'd probably flip it as well because i think it'd probably look better that way and the um they could hide behind it they <laughs> they, they poke their heads out and we can i mean when we decide what could be on the painting we can we'll have to have a chat about that because it all depends what everyone's ideas are. I don't want to limit people, but at the same time, we might have to limit it purely because we need the assets to exist. But yeah, it's gonna. This looks a mess, obviously, at the moment. But we can just tidy it up, just get rid of that, smooth the edge, make it look like a frame, and then we can add a, a picture, an extra layer to the painting. Oh, that's clever. Yeah, I saw it because I was looking. I was looking through the assets. And I thought, well, have we got a, a painting? That's just so out there. How are we even going to get a painting? And I saw that and I was like, that that could work. That could be a painting. I've just got to do a slight edit. And then that's literally a painting. And the resizing of it, we can, we can manually resize it in RPG Maker. So if we want it to be big, that should be easy enough to do. No problem at all um it meant no harm in what was said what was said i'm confused can you inform me what was said please because i cannot see anything it was deleted um you can break the tyros you could put yeah well, i'm not gonna vote i'm gonna leave this one open i'm gonna just leave this poll open um all weekend so 
let's get let's get the internet back up so we have the draw but these ones have won so huge paintings won we've officially confirmed its place which is why i wanted to show you the asset that we're going to use we're going to use the door and turn it into a painting um, and we'll there'll be a time to vote on what's going to be on the paintings um and we'll do that as well we'll have a poll for that or a discussion at least um, and i'll probably limit it somewhat and give a few ideas i'll look at the assets we've got and might and see how they look on there and also the scales one player given the choice i liked both of those options i have to say but i feel like it does make sense that the scales won because at this stage there's probably not much compassion because it's very early on in the game and we've we still got a dialogue like poll to vote on guys so i'm just going to let you know before we end that we have um a decision on what dialogue line we should have because we had a couple of really you know we have a very wild out there line of dollar then i want to know whether it's too bonkers for the game or perfect for the game and i guess the poll will show us whether it poll be seems quite popular at my so we'll see um tomorrow that will be closing off stream i don't stream on friday um so it'll it, you won't get announced when it closes but i will be closing it then oh that's that's a cute mimic yeah got coffee coffee's yummy it's actually quite impressive already with all the dialogues and content i've caught on the stream so far thank you Aitor. i appreciate the encouragement this is a very niche thing it's not even just game development you know what i mean like it's more than that it's like this is an entire pastime in my opinion it's like some of the community do to bond so you know it's 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 very unique and some people might not latch on to it but i feel like those of us who are here get it and know and we have fun doing it and that's what matters to me um he says you look like a certain moaning myrtle was it or the guy the girl from that other program because that's usually why it is now that you mentioned it she does look like that one streamer girl yeah i look like rose rainbow that's the one person i look like <laughs> yeah no hard me what i said uh if it got timed out though pia to be like what what you say it's probably because i'd be offended by it that's why so just try and be nice that's all um i don't know what it was you said or who but <laughs> so chances are it's something that's been said in the past and it's a it's a sore spot for me <laughs> and rex knows that um but i do like say i don't want to be compared to celebrities because i'm me <laughs> i'm 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 unique <laughs> um yeah i understand from the consumer side i think kind of, it's kind of games with background to the best to play yay didn't mean anything by yeah we're not mad at you at all we, we don't worry we're not mad at you it's quite funny more than anything i'm just amused by it but don't worry we're not mad we're nice here we're friendly we can we can forgive and forget as well um i am not from dublin i am not irish <laughs> I am not, I don't think I have an Irish accent at all. Um, try and be nice. Wait, what? We're supposed to be nice, right? <laughs> Trying to spare your feelings. Well, I appreciate you, Rex, because you know exactly. <laughs> you know I'm going to get mad. And it's not like I'm going to be like, oh my God, get out of here. I can't believe you said I look like that person. Get out. I'm not going to be like that. I'm just going to be like, oh, again. Oh no, not again. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh no, if it was, we, we did we have a spammer today? We're usually so good here. We usually have, we usually don't get any trolls at all. It's uh, very rare for our stream to get any form of trolling. I feel very lucky. I mean, it does happen. It happens to everybody. Um, but we, I think, I think I feel quite, I, I feel quite glad about the nice people that come in the stream. 
creepy trying to guess where someone lives by accident Derby Creek. yeah I'm not going to tell locations or anything like that or um I, I want to protect my myself as a streamer I think I've, I've been, anybody who's on the internet um sh you know it's a very it's a very sensitive thing um I think people don't realize how creepy it really is yeah yeah but you're very wrong Ireland is very, very, very wrong indeed for where I'm from. <laughs> okay, guys, so it is actually super late today. I've uh, rambled on and um, we, 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 we meant to have ended stream ages ago. Oh, no. And I was going to take screenshots, but I'm not going to have time to do that right now. I'm going to have to do it off stream. But I very much think that these... To polls two and three are done and dusted and i'll get those closed after my dinner but we'll keep poll one open and we'll keep we've got poll four as well that we'll keep open for a while longer so thanks for taking part in all the the polls guys it's been fun i've had a really we've had a really good creative week this week and we'll just carry on um with what we was do what we were doing this week next week we'll have some streams that are to do with the fruits and we'll have some streams to do with the barrels we'll probably break it up um i'm not sure what we're going to do on monday yet but we'll see how i feel hungarian <laughs> i'm sure most people that ask a harmless book can come across creepy yeah sometimes i think it's just ignorance really i don't think anybody is a bad person for but you know i think i always try and when i go in chats i always like read carefully think about what i say i think that's that's important like to not be to just not just say anything like think before you speak sort of thing is what i'm trying to say um but anyway we should probably finish what we finish today and drop ourselves off at somebody's stream who wants to join for a raid who fancies doing that have a good fun week, Res by Track. Take care of so Take care of each other. Yeah, thanks for hanging out, sexy. And thank you for everything in the ideas discussion channel. Like, seriously, some really cool ideas there. Um, we're gonna we're gonna have a good game. We're actually gonna have a good game. It's not gonna be just a joke game. It's it actually might have a good story, <laughs> which is really cool okay guys so i'm just having a peep at twos on rose ray but thank you for taking part in the raid i'm gonna we're gonna um raise someone different today because she's not usually on um when i'm on um when i finish should i say um katie rose we met her at twitch comrade she's nice um so we'll go say hi raid rex if only i could raid rex maybe one day rex will be streaming when i finish maybe maybe in the future if i ever do start streaming in evenings that'll happen but right now we, it's staying like this unless i happen to get a full-time job then it'll switch to evenings but um it'll be like this for the foreseeable future um yay okay so let's get raid ready i'm gonna get the stream open um and i will see you all on monday i hope you have an amazing three days for three days without raindrop chronicles and uh, we'll be back and have lots of fun on monday so take care everyone i appreciate your tons